Yo fam, let's talk about a huge dam causing a big stir in Africa. It's called the Grand Ethiopian Renaissance Dam, or GERD for short. Catchy, right? It's being built in Ethiopia on the Blue Nile, which flows into the mighty Nile River. Now this isn't just any dam. This thing is massive. It's set to be the largest hydroelectric power plant in Africa when it's finished. The project kicked off in 2011, and trust me, it's been a long, complicated journey. The GERD is a symbol of hope and progress for Ethiopia, but it's also sparked some serious tension with its neighbors, Egypt and Sudan. Why? Well, it all comes down to one very precious resource, water. Ethiopia, my friends, is a country on the move, a nation brimming with potential and ambition. It's one of the fastest growing economies in Africa, but it needs a lot of juice to keep the lights on and the progress going. The demand for energy is skyrocketing as the country modernizes and urbanizes. That's where the Grand Ethiopian Renaissance Dam, or GERD, comes in. This massive infrastructure project is a game changer. See, Ethiopia has huge untapped hydropower potential. Think of it like a sleeping giant waiting to be awakened. The Blue Nile is a powerful resource. The GERD aims to unleash that power, generating over 6,000 megawatts of electricity. This is a monumental step forward. That's enough to power millions of homes and businesses, transforming the energy landscape of the entire nation. This isn't just about flipping on the lights, though. It's about providing reliable energy for everyday life. It's about lifting people out of poverty, boosting industries, and creating a brighter future for all Ethiopians. Reliable electricity can revolutionize agriculture, manufacturing, and education. So you see, the GERD is more than just a dam. It's a symbol of hope and a lifeline for development. It's a beacon of progress and a testament to what Ethiopia can achieve. Now, while Ethiopia is hyped about the GERD, the Grand Ethiopian Renaissance Dam, which they see as a symbol of national pride and a key to economic development, Egypt and Sudan downstream are feeling a little, shall we say, thirsty. The situation is becoming increasingly tense as water levels drop. You see, the Nile River is their lifeline, literally. It's not just a river, it's the beating heart of their civilizations. It provides almost all of their water for drinking, farming, and everything in between. Egypt especially is worried. The country's agriculture, which is the backbone of its economy, depends heavily on the Nile. They rely on the Nile for like 90% of their water needs. Imagine the impact on daily life from drinking water to irrigation. They're concerned that filling up the Geard's massive reservoir will significantly reduce the water flow downstream, impacting their agriculture and, well, their whole way of life. The fear is that the reduced water flow could lead to droughts and food shortages. Sudan, caught in the middle, has its own concerns. They're in a precarious position, balancing their own water needs with the potential risks. They're worried about the dam's impact on their own dams and the potential for flooding if the Geard isn't managed properly. The risk of mismanagement could lead to devastating floods, affecting thousands of lives. Talk about a high-stakes water dilemma. The future of millions depends on how these nations navigate this complex issue. One of the big issues fueling the tension is a lack of transparency. Egypt and Sudan are like, hey Ethiopia, we need more information about how you're planning to fill this mega dam and manage the water flow. They want clear data, a binding agreement, and some reassurance that their water security won't be compromised. Ethiopia, on the other hand, argues that it has the right to utilize its own resources for development. This lack of trust and open communication is a major roadblock. It's like trying to share a pizza when no one can agree on how many slices to cut. Section 5, Talking It Out, Negotiations and Mediators. Now, before things escalate into a full-blown water war, all three countries have been trying to find a peaceful solution through negotiations. They've had countless meetings, drafted agreements, and even brought in international mediators to help. The African Union has played a key role trying to facilitate dialogue and find common ground. But, let's be real, these negotiations are complex and, at times, as slow as a snail in a traffic jam. Everyone agrees that a win-win solution is the only way forward. The question is, can they find it before the dam is filled and the tensions boil over? Section 6. Beyond the Dam, Cooperation for a Thirsty Region Look, the Nile River doesn't recognize borders. It's a shared resource that all three countries depend on. Instead of fighting over every drop, imagine if they could work together to manage this precious resource for the benefit of all. 
We're talking about joint research projects, data sharing, and coordinated water management strategies. Think of it like a water co-op where everyone contributes and everyone benefits. This kind of cooperation could be a game changer, not just for the GERD issue, but for the entire Nile Basin. It could pave the way for sustainable development, regional stability, and a brighter future for everyone. Section seven, GERD and geopolitics, a wider lens. Now let's zoom out for a second. The GERD dispute isn't just about water, it's also about power, politics, and regional dynamics. You've got historical tensions, competing national interests, and even external players vying for influence. Some experts believe that the GERD could shift the balance of power in the region, giving Ethiopia more leverage. Others worry that it could lead to increased competition over scarce resources. The international community also has a role to play in supporting peaceful resolution and promoting cooperation. After all, water scarcity is a global challenge and what happens on the Nile has implications far beyond the region. Section 8. Finding Common Ground. A Hopeful Future for the Nile. The GERD saga is a reminder that water is life, and managing it equitably is crucial for peace and prosperity. The Nile River, a lifeline for millions, has been a source of sustenance, culture, and history for centuries. Its waters have nurtured civilizations and supported diverse ecosystems. It's a complex issue with no easy solutions. But one thing is clear, dialogue, cooperation, and a willingness to compromise are essential. The stakes are high and the challenges are many, but through mutual understanding and respect, a path forward can be forged. The future of the Nile River and the millions of people who depend on it hangs in the balance. The river's health and sustainability are paramount not just for today, but for generations to come. Let's hope that Ethiopia, Egypt, and Sudan can find a way to share this precious resource and turn a potential crisis into an opportunity for collaboration and shared prosperity. By working together, these nations can ensure that the Nile continues to be a source of life and hope. Because at the end of the day, we're all part of the same human family, sharing this planet and its precious resources. Our interconnectedness means that what affects one affects all. And that, my friends, is something worth fighting for. Peacefully, of course. Advocating for fair and just water distribution is a cause that unites us all. Stay thirsty, my friends, but let's share the water. Peace out. Remember, every drop counts. And together, we can make a difference.